Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, it all started on Tuesday night. Oops, I went over something with uh, some salt and the sugar down there. And now we're gonna do the rosemary. We've got some sage. We're gonna crush it a little bit. Put it in here. Hmm. And some thyme. You are not gonna believe how good it smells, all this stuff. Hmm. Some orange peel too. A couple of onions for good measure. You know, we love onions. Some peppercorns. Just a little bit. Some maple syrup, just like a quarter cup or so. To add a little more sweetness. And apparently that, uh, a little more, that uh, makes uh, the skin a more golden color when it's uh, being roasted. Some cloves of garlic, more chicken broth, and then some water. And we might not need water. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Mm. The brining bucket. And now we're gonna pour the brine in here to cool it down. Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna need a little bit more water. Mm, little bird. Here's our little turkey. We're gonna Turn him around. Whoops, it's bleeding. And put it in our brining bucket. Make sure that all the cavities fill with water. And then we're good. Go. Right. Yes. First, I'm gonna turn him around. Rest down. This is gonna come out so good. Now we'll leave it here overnight. Mmm, it's gonna come out so good. Mm. Okay, after we brine the, the bird overnight, then what we do is uh, we take it out of the brine, we pack dry it completely and put it back in the fridge until one hour before we are ready to roast it. Oh, it's full of water. Pretty bird. Uh, let's dry it up. Let's pretend it is uh, Thanksgiving morning. I'm gonna put this uh, turkey to roast at 450 degrees. Uh, we're gonna preheat the oven at uh, to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then as we put the turkey in, we're gonna lower it to 350 and we're gonna roast it for two and a half, three hours until, you know, it reaches the desired temperature. And then, yum, yum. Hello everybody, good morning. It is Thanksgiving day and uh, we're gonna start roasting our turkey. It's a small, it's a small bird, so it, should, it shouldn't take any more than two and a half hours or three hours to roast. Here we have in the roasting pan, we have put some uh, chicken stock and also some apple cider. And uh, now we're gonna brush this uh, turkey with uh, melted butter. All right, it's all full of butter. And now we start at 450 and immediately we're gonna lower it to 350. Stick it in there. It looks like this bird is ready. Actually, it's probably overcooked a little bit. I hope not. Well, everybody from Miami, Florida, happy Thanksgiving one more time. And now we're going to carve this beautiful bird. And like I said before, yum, yum. Let's see how we do this. Slicing it up. 
like, what am I thankful for this uh, Thanksgiving? Well, first of all, my health, because without health, all bets are off. And then the family, and, uh, you know, being able to do what I love, which is uh, share these videos with you. What are you thankful for? Comment below. Bye now. Well, that's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe if you haven't, and if you liked it, uh, well, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I am also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and even Snapchat, so follow me there too if you will. I am now Traveling Robert in all of the social networks, and you can also visit the blog at TravelingRobert.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding. Riding with my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV